What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today with another exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're talking about a brand new or kind of new module to GoodLock. Uh, Samsung shuffled around one of its newest apps from Good Guardians to GoodLock. And you can install it, the newest update version, on the Galaxy S25 series, even though you need to sideload it for now. It's kind of weird. Samsung's been doing some weird stuff where certain models don't have the same features right now because one UI 7 is in beta on the older phones and sort of unstable on the S25. It's a bit of a disaster. But anyway, we're going to talk about the new Display Assistant module moving over to GoodLock today. Before we get started, I remind you guys, check out our website, samiguru.com. We cover all the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. Covered this in real time as it was breaking. Um, the app also got a new icon, which is probably the most visually interesting thing. But we'll talk about some of the other stuff today with Display Assistant. Sammy Guru Rewards will be opening very soon as well. You guys can get free premium daily wallpapers, discounts and cash back and accessories on all your Samsung purchases. And of course, our favorite thing, the Mystery Box program, which of course will be back for the foldables in July. And as soon as rewards open, there'll be more interesting information about how to sign up for that, what items will be included in the boxes and all that good stuff. The link's in the pinned comment description. So version 7.1.06 of Display Assistant rolled out uh, I sideloaded this and it basically doesn't do a lot except Display Assistant is no longer in Good Guardians. It's now been moved to Good Lock. This is Good Guardians right here on my S25 Ultra. You see Display Assistant is no longer listed here anywhere. They've moved it, but here's an interesting thing. If you sideload it on the S25 Ultra, and I'll drop a link to the APK. Again, only sideload stuff if you know what you're doing, but if you go on the S25 series and you take a look, it is nowhere to be found after sideloading it in GoodLock. However, if you go uh, over, and let's take a look at it really quick. Let's go to X, and the APK was downloaded, or rather downloaded, uh, uploaded by uh, Theord Sim, who posts a lot of great stuff about Samsung. You guys should follow him. Sorry if I messed up. I probably mispronounced his name. I'm sorry. But the new Display Assistant beta, he has the APK here, which is where you can get it. And he shows on the S24 Ultra running One UI 7 Beta, it's actually in good lock now under plugins, and it's got beta to the left of the Display Assistant text. But if you sideload on the S25 Ultra, you do get the new module. It's in the app drawer as a standalone app. You see Display Assistant's right there, and you can run it, so it runs fine. It just doesn't show up in good lock. That's very weird why they moved this from Good Guardians to good lock. It actually seems like it's more suited for Good Guardians, which is all about the performance of your, your Galaxy device. But anyway, that's that's what they're doing. If you want to run it on your S25, you can certainly do so. I installed it S25 Ultra. It works. I tried some custom app screen timeouts. Just to remind you guys, there's a lot of useful stuff in here. When it first came out like a couple of months ago, maybe six weeks ago, we covered it. Um, you can choose individual app screen timeouts. You know, like if you have one app, you might leave open a lot. Like X, I'm doing research a lot. Sometimes I leave that open when my phone's on a stand by my desk and just leave that open while I can scroll through and like use it to cite stuff. Um, you can keep the screen on um, for additional amount of time here. It will not stay on when you have these particular options, but you can have a quick settings button for keep screen on up in your quick settings. That will allow you to do that. That's pretty much all this does here. Um, brightness limit standard profile. This is great. Um, you can have the standard brightness limited by high temperatures or light, which means it can be kept up at high temperatures but the device might overheat or it could get really hot and not cool down as quickly. It could be great if you want to enforce that max brightness regardless. My favorite one, my favorite one, aside from the app screen timeout, is this one. Adaptive brightness change from 1x, 2x to 4x. The speed of the brightness still change depends on the surrounding environment, but you can basically reset your usage patterns from here manually and manually adapt how fast the brightness you know, changes. That's a great feature because sometimes I feel like mine's a little slow to adapt and kind of bothers me. Samsung's now giving you a remedy for this. If you're someone who feels the same way, you can change it with Display Assistant. And of course, standard refresh rate apps, choose which apps you want to use in the standard refresh rate. I just like to run them all in adaptive, you know, to get that maximum refresh where it's appropriate. I think it does a pretty good job. I don't feel a need to change that. And screen curtain, which puts the screen in doze state uh, when the app operates for a long time, you can try it out, save some battery, um, not available during calls, games, or you know, YouTube and YouTube music for, for obvious reasons. But this is a great app, and I'm glad that Samsung, I guess maybe they thought this app was so useful 
Good Guardians is something a lot of people don't know as much about. Good Lock is certainly more popular among Galaxy users, even though it's still an enthusiast application. It's certainly more popular than Good Guardians. Maybe that's why they brought it to Good Lock. But anyway, I don't know why it's not showing up in Good Lock on the S25. Maybe because the firmware is hacked. This doesn't have the March update. So the firmware is actually newer on the S24 Ultra uh, recent beta, which has, I believe, the more recent security patch and all that. We haven't gotten the March security patch yet on the S25 Ultra, the US Unlock. So maybe that's why. But you can run it if you want. I'll drop the APK below. Certainly a very useful app. Check out samiguru.com for the full write-up here. Uh, more great updates and news about Samsung. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.